Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Uberoid on your Android Mini PC. You probably can't see it very well. Get a little bit more light, there we go. Alright, I just extracted, you'll have to download and extract the image. I just extracted it, let me put my tripod real quick. Alright, I still have my screen recorder working, but we'll worry about that in a second. Alright. I'll have links to the programs you need in the description. Now I'm going to open up the flashing program. You'll have to extract the image like you saw me do. Next thing you'll need to do after you extract the image is, of course, have your Android Mini PC. And you'll need the USB cable, the um, USB Mini. You'll also need to find a paper clip in order to do this next part, because you'll need to push in the reset button. So, but for now we're just going to open up the program. Once you have it extracted, just look for livesuit.exe. Run that. Yes. All right, now you'll be granted to this welcome screen. Um, I just say, don't, just say no for it. It's in the very broken English, so you probably won't be able to understand what they're saying anyway half the time, because the grammar's messed up. All right, you'll see six icons here. We're gonna use the first one. We're using LiveSuit 1.7, because it works best with a uh, with 64-bit version of Windows 7, which I'm using. And then when you're here, you browse for your image file. Don't connect your um, device yet, in case you didn't know. Uh, here's my image file. Then it should fill in the little block right here. I don't know if you can see it. Again, I need to get my screen recorder working again. Alright. Now what we're going to do is we'll get a little bit more light. We're going to actually take this device and plug it in. But you'll need either a really small Allen key or a paper clip. I couldn't find any paper clips. Then what you do is, you see a device like this, uh, under the light, which is right here, on mine it might be different for yours, but it shouldn't be, there's another hole. That hole is the reset button. So you push it in and listen for the click. You hear that? Okay, now hold it in. Now plug it into your PC. Move over a little bit. Okay. Count to about five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you can let go of this. Put this someplace safe so it won't like get disconnected. Because if it's disconnected during this, that's really bad. And now we click the next button, which is for flashing. Let's go. We're gonna write the image. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Now it's come up in the bottom. You can see it pop up that little thing. That one means it's actually connected. Okay, now after you, you only have to click it once, but it will have to wait until the device is fully seen by Windows. Um, you have to install Live Suit first, of course, and then you'll get this stuff, but. I skipped that step since all you have to do is click on the program. All right, now I'll ask you if you want to format it. Um, you don't have to for Uberoid, but it lets you get rid of all the built-in programs you don't need. So I'm going to say yes. Are you sure you want to format? Yes. Now it's formatting device. Now while this is going, so I don't have to waste time to install Live Suit. Once you got it unzipped and all that good stuff, let's move this out of the way. Just click on this, Live Suit. Here's the installer right here, Live Suit 0.7. It should say something, yeah, there it is, Live Suit version 0.7, blah, 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 all those other numbers. That will install it for you, and then once it installs, it, you won't get any dialog. It'll probably say, like, install drivers, and you say yes, and you'll get all these other files. It'll dump it to the same folder that the installer is in. So it's not very user-friendly process to install it, but once you install it, you only have to install it once. 
And again, don't connect your device before it actually starts the install because I don't know why, but it won't have the drivers and blah, blah, blah. Okay, when it's done, you'll get a blank box, I guess because it's Chinese and I don't have any Chinese um, characters or whatever installed. Just go ahead and click OK. Then it will be back at 0%. You can close out the application. And we're good. Move back over here. Here we go. We're gonna, we can unplug the USB cable now safely and Ta-da! Now, I'm gonna move this. We can connect up the power. Right here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Power, and where's the video? Here we go, mini HDMI. Goes in here, I usually plug it in first. And power goes in here. Then it should light up. Oh. Okay. Now it's lit up. Let's go back over to the monitor. Oh, get in trouble. Boom, post it. Here we go, we got our new boot screen, which means it's successfully installed. Now let's go wait for it to actually start up. Here's the U-Board loading screen, very nice. Alright, here we go. Uh, the new version of Uber Raid is installed, and let's see what apps come in pre-installed with this version. First, we're going to have to connect up some device, some um, peripherals. Okay, down here we have a device. Here I have a USB hub with a USB Ethernet adapter, mouse and keyboard connected in. Let's plug this into the back. and they instantly all get connected. Now I can use my mouse. This is a really bad mouse, that's why I use it on here. My good mouse is on my computer. Alright. And it comes with this really neat shutdown app. Oh, come on. Okay, comes with this really neat shutdown application right here, which was made by the Uberoid team specifically to keep your apps from getting messed up when you shut down. Because there's no default power off button on this device. So the only way to you could usually turn it off is by unplugging it. And if you unplug it, then that's not the safest thing to do. So alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great day. Bye.